You play good, they pay good. That's what Deion Sanders said over 30 years ago. And he ain't never told a lie. A lot of the top teams in the NFL, they have great players on their team. They go deep into the playoffs, some even win the Super Bowl. And they have people on their team making money. And I know that you guys keep telling us to build through the draft, but what I keep trying to get you to understand is eventually, if you build through the draft and you draft a good player who becomes a great player, they're going to get a great contract. And you're going to have to make a decision. Do you pay that pay, pay the player or do you move on? Okay, You can't have a good team with a bunch of dollar store generals Okay, or 29 or 2 for 50s. You're not going to have a Super Bowl winning team. Somebody put in the comment section. Let, name me the last 29 or 2 for 50 Super Bowl winner in the, in the comments below. Okay. Now, we all knew this was coming. It's just a matter of when and how much this guy is going to make. But this is coming from Cam Marino. I wonder if that's any relation to Dan Marino, formerly of USA Today. Says Source, the Detroit Lions and star receiver Amon Ross St. Brown are in discussions that will give St. Brown's contract an extension of at least three years at an annual salary of $25 million. Extending St. Brown is a priority for the Lions as they enter the offseason. Now, that is my number one priority this offseason. It is to extend St. Brown, get him taken care of. Then it would be Jared Goff. And, and Jared Goff falls into, the, well, this all falls into taking care of our players. So I guess you can group it up as to one thing. But it would be Jay, it would be St. Brown, Jared Goff, decide what they're going to do with him, and then re-sign the Josh Reynolds, the C.J. Garner-Johnson, and those guys, right? But St. Brown, $25 million. Now, it very well could be north of that because according to Track, his market value is four years. $105 million, $237,000. That is, which would leave him with an annual salary of twenty six point four, and it would make him the fourth highest paid wide receiver in the league. Got that pulled up right here. He would actually be the third highest paid wide receiver in the league under Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill, and then St. Brown would go right in here. Top 10, A.J. Brown. Stephon Diggs, Mike Evans, Keenan Allen, Cooper Cup, Christian Kirk, DK Metcalf, and I guess Debo Samuel is tied with someone as to why there's no number 10. So St. Brown, according to Spot Track, would be the fourth highest paid wide receiver. Was it NFL rank? Yes, wide receiver rank. NFL rank, he would be the 25th. This is a no-brainer to me. Now, you might have the retort to, well, you can't pay St. Brown that type of money. He's a slot guy. Why would we pay a slot receiver 200 or $105 million? Because to me, it's not the position that he plays, it's the production that he has put on the field. Now, this guy would be up there with, I think, a lot of him that he is very similar to Cooper Cup. And Cooper Cup is coming off a three-year $80 million. So essentially, Cooper Cup is making... 20 some odd million dollars a year. And he signed his deal at 26, 27. I'm going to say Brown is 24 years old. This is a no brainer to me to be able to sign St. Brown to this extension. I'm willing to pay him that much money because it is about the production on the field. St. Brown is a critical piece to the Detroit Lions success. We can see what it's like when he's not on the team. So we're not going to move on from St. Brown. We're not going to, you, you guys talking about, a lot in the comment section I hear I hear taking care of our own. Well, it starts here. It starts here. I think St. Brown is worth every penny. He had me chuckling. I, last night I listened on his podcast that he said things were money is tight. And you can see Equinemius holding in his laughter uh, or trying to at least when he said money was tight. Now, I will say this. There's been a change in St. Brown. You can see it. And, and I want to say something real quick, and I don't want to make this a rambling video, but it's very similar to how I am on this platform. St. Brown, we know what everything about him. We know that he knows all 16 people 
that were drafted, 16 wide receivers that were drafted before him. We know that he wasn't even in the room when the draft happened. He when he when the third round came around, he wound up going out on the jugs machine. That's why he's so good. He actually still doesn't to this day was he don't he doesn't want to talk about the draft. I saw it was an interview with Peter King. And Peter King was asking him about the draft, and he simply said, I really don't like to talk about that. And they moved on. This guy, and that's kind of how I am on YouTube. You just you can only take so much, and then after a while, you have to kind of become a different person. So your skin got to get a little thicker, and you just you just tolerate less, right? So that's where I am on YouTube. That's that I'm not being a jerk. I'm just I've I'm done tolerating a lot of things. And when you just are thrown just comment after comment after comment, just ridiculous stuff in the comment section, and especially when it's attacking me, then I've had enough, right? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. But St. Brown, St. Brown is a guy that deserves every penny. He's worked to get get this. But what I was gonna say was he's changed. He's changed. I don't think he's a diva. I don't think he's Stefan Diggs, but he's got a he's got like a a swag to him. If you haven't noticed, he's got a swag to him that he didn't have when he first came in. And I don't blame him. I mean, you you worked for what you received, you felt slighted, you became one of the best wide receivers in the league, and now you're about to get paid like one. So that is going to come with a little swag. Now, how far the swag goes, hopefully his mother, his brother, his dad, or his other brother as well. And the people close to him can keep him grounded because I can see St. Brown. He's young. He's 24. I know I was a 24. You couldn't tell me nothing at 24, man. I was like, ha ha ha. I mean, where the party at? I was that dude. You know what I'm saying? Like you couldn't tell me nothing. I know how I was at 24. And uh, and if I was passed over and then I got a hundred million dollars that I earned, please, you wouldn't be able to tell. What was that Kanye West? Uh Uh-uh. You can't tell me nothing. That's how I would be. So hopefully they keep him grounded. He stays focused. He doesn't become he doesn't become a Stefan Diggs. I would hate to see St. Brown become a, a Stefan Diggs. So hopefully he does not allow that to happen. But let me know in the comments below. How much would you pay Jamison Williams? Do you think I'm sorry, <laughs> St. Brown? We're talking about four years. So that's gonna they're gonna up, add the his last year of his deal, his current year deal, and make it and add it to the new one. So four years. 105 million, averaging about 25 to 26.2 a year. Are you paying St. Brown that? Let me know in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. We are on our way to 20,000. We hit 19.5 today. I am hoping that we can get there by the start of free agency. So if we can get to 20K, that would be great. I'll do a giveaway for the old 33-inch LED Lion 3D. It's a, it's a smaller version of what's behind me, and it feels great. That none of you guys are complaining. That you can't see it anymore. It feels great. You can put it in your man cave or woman cave or whatever you want to do. Got to be a public subscriber to the channel. So if you want to know how to do that, you can Google it. But basically, I can see on my side, right underneath your comment, it tells me how many times you've commented on my channel, how many times I've heard it your comment, and are you a public subscriber or not. I can see it. So trust me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.